Hi, this is Rich Formidoni, product specialist for Cord USA, and I'm here to show you the pad control. It's a drum pad controller with 16 pads, USB power to hook right up to your computer, or you can use the optional 9 volt AC adapter and plug it in with the MIDI ports to your external gear. There are MIDI in and out ports, as well as a switch to switch from bus to AC power. The pedal input allows you to send a note message or a MIDI control change. You can actually kick your kick drum, in other words. There is also an XY pad, which gives you very dynamic, expressive control over the sounds you're triggering. Each one of the 16 super sensitive pads is illuminated. Notice that whenever I hit a pad, the velocity I used shows up in the display in the upper left. Notice also that you can hit a velocity of 127 on the very corners and edges of the pads. This is the most sensitive pad controller you can buy. There are two assignable knobs at the top of the pad control. You can set them to affect any number of the pads, and you can have them send any control change message you want. The XY pad allows you to perform roll and flam effects, and the hold button allows you to take your finger off the pad while still maintaining its position. The pad is also a freely assignable XY controller, very similar to our Chaos pad. Let's take a look inside each one of these pads and see how we can customize them. There are two modes on the pad control, play and setting. I'm gonna take you into setting mode. I hit that button, it lights up, and one pad is selected. All I've gotta do is touch a pad, and now I'm editing all the parameters for that particular pad. In this section right here, I've got six parameters that I can apply to each pad. The first one is note or control change. Right on the screen, it tells me this note is A3. I can dial through and select any note I want, or I can set the pad to be a MIDI control change message. I can choose an individual MIDI channel for each pad. So I could have this pad over here set to MIDI channel one, and this one set to MIDI channel two. If I hit the switch type button, I can set the pads to either momentary or toggle. The next button is release value. If a pad is set to a control change message, it'll send a specific value once I take my finger off the pad. Next up, we've got velocity. Each pad can have a fixed velocity all its own, or you can set one of the eight selectable velocity curves. Each one has a different response depending on how hard you play. For example, you could set the kick drum to a velocity of 127 and keep the snare velocity sensitive with a curve that is specific to the way you like to play. The next button is a really cool feature of the pad control. It says port, and I can switch between port A and port B. Imagine you've got two pieces of software running at the same time, live and reason adapted. You could set the bottom row of pads to port A and the top three rows of pads to port B. The reason you would do that is because when you plug the pad control in with USB, it shows up as two separate MIDI devices. In one scene, all the information for the pads, the XY pad, the knobs, the pedal, everything you've changed is stored and can be recalled just by holding down the scene button and hitting a pad. If you use the included editor librarian software, you can store an unlimited amount of scenes. And of course, we've included loads for you to play with right out of the box. There are several convenient shortcuts located right on the front panel of the pad control. For example, if you want all of the pads to have a velocity of 127, there's a button marked fixed velocity that does exactly that. If you need to send a MIDI control change message, like a panic message to stop all the notes from sounding, 
The top two rows of pads have MIDI messages on them. You can just hold down the message button and hit a pad and it will send the appropriate message. You can also perform program changes by holding down the program change button and twisting the knob. So really, it's not just about drums. You can use the pad control in a huge variety of situations. Anywhere there's MIDI, the pad control can help. What you get with the pad control is really a complete production studio. First of all, you get an editor librarian that could not possibly be any easier to use. If you want to change something, just click on it. There's a picture of the pad control right on the screen. If you click on a pad, you get a piano, you can choose the key, you can see the velocity curve. Every parameter that we just went through, you can change right on the computer screen. When you're done, you can save the scene, you can save an entire set of scenes, and transmit and receive them to and from the pad control. You also get a Korg edition of DFH Superior. It's over 260 megabytes of drum sounds that you can use right out of the box. The Creative Control Pack Volume 2 is a collection of software bundled with the pad control that allows you to get the most out of it. So whether you're a seasoned producer or someone just starting to make beats, or you need an extra MIDI controller for anything with MIDI, the pad control is a perfect solution. Thank you very much for watching.